good, y'all, man? We got another breakdown episode three Easter eggs, man, review. So, um, yeah, though, man, let me know y'all watched um, the first one, the second one, the third one. Let me know in the comment down below. But, um, yeah, though, man, hey, Chucky is going crazy once again, though, man. You know what I'm saying? This ain't new, but he's going crazy, man. And I can't believe Chucky, Chucky killed his mom like that, folks. Like, like, well, Charles Ray killed his mom. You know what I'm saying? Chucky didn't do it yet, but. Charles Ray, man, he killed he killed mom like that. I'm like, God damn. He was like, he was legit a little muff. Like he was bad when he was little, folk. When he was a human being, folk. And then his body got switched to a, you know, what I'm saying, switched to a dog and shit. But he was a, he was a little motherfucking badass kid when he was little. He said, "Yep, I did, I did your job." He he was like, "Damn, that's what you know." What I mean, I'm like, God damn. And then he killed the dude. Well, I think I think he a side character and shit, but he killed him. I, I forgot his name is, but you know he killed the other dude that he, you know, saying that um, I got the other name, you know, the other dude name. But yeah, he thought that he was trying to, you know, trying to take his girl away from him and shit. And he over there stressed out, but now he gonna be stressed out now. He can breathe like, all right, he did. All right, I can breathe now. I can talk my shit now. You feel me? No cat. But um, yeah, man. But hey, about to break down, man. He says, say, leave a like to my channel, and um, yeah, let's get it. Yo, what the heck? Where did everyone get the headphones at? You know, it's really awkward. I'm dead. watching y'all without the music. Your Shrek 2 soundtrack? I throw it back to that. I'm Hello, dead. Chucky fans. Thanks for clicking on this video. My name is Chucky Boy. Episode 3 of the Chucky TV series has now premiered. And man, was this another wild ride keeping me on my toes. What I'm going to do here for you yeah, guys. Yeah, it was crazy, man. He's giving you my breakdown of Chucky Episode 3. Pointing out Easter eggs you might have missed. References to past Chucky movies. Honestly, just my spoiler review and speculation of what could happen next. But I'm going to need you Chucky fans to give me your opinions down below. Y'all have been really amazing about telling me your thoughts in the comment section. And again, I just want to say, if the comments section is turned and um one thing about it i can tell she a main character folk because every time chucky was this close with killing her folk they always be some somebody coming in like he was this close with killing her then her friends came in you know they had a party you know what i'm saying and, and you know they got headphones on because they probably want nobody to know they got a party and shit so that's why they had them headphones on but yeah, I can tell you, she the man. I mean, been on she main character, but she the main character folk. Cause when he about to attack her, she was like this, and he was on the back like this. <laughs> She on the back, and then he started firing and shit though, cause he was moving that, that you feel me, that you feel me, man type shit. But um, but um, what about to say? But now she know that it's it's Chucky. Now she know what Jake feeling about what he what he been feeling about, you know, since episode one. You know what I mean? Now he know like it's Chucky, it's the doll. He's crazy. You feel me? Now she know, but a lot of people ain't gonna believe her. Well, episode four is like a lot of people do now. I think episode four is gonna be now everybody gonna believe Jake now. You know what I mean? Well, people that you know was looking at him crazy and shit. But yeah, you, know, you know I know what I'm talking about. But yeah, you know it's all coming together now. You know what I'm saying? And um, the episode four look crazy though, man. It's a little sneak peek. Episode four, Chucky ain't nothing new. You know, he's on a rampage, no cap. But, um, yeah. Turned <laughs> off, it's not me, it's damn YouTube's algorithm. Thinking we're talking about a kid's show, even though. Damn kid got stabbed this up. What? Alright, so with that. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it did send it to me, though. It turned my comments off. So, y'all see comments off, man? It's, I think because they want it. You know what I'm saying? They don't like all that. You know what I'm trying to say, YouTube. But, hey, uh, I don't got a problem with it. But, you know what I'm saying? If y'all see comments off, this, you know, you know why. I was like, damn, this ain't with me though. But y'all do that with while I do Chucky though, cause I think it be saying, you know, foul words and you know how YouTube trying to be clean up and you know shit like that. But um yeah. Episode 3 of the Chucky TV series titled I Like to Be Hugged. My general thoughts, another banger of an episode. Not only did we get some backstory on young Charles Lee Ray, the thing I was uh, most yeah, hesitant listen. but also interested to see in the show. And I think this episode handled it perfectly on how to show us his backstory without ruining the mystery of Charles Lee Ray. I was really afraid that it was going to be a mainly slow episode and that would deter away a lot of the fans. Because if someone is not constantly getting stabbed by Chucky or Chucky's not cursing out or doing something maniacal, yeah, fans yeah. think that's a bad episode and we should yeah fast they be thinking like nah okay this episode ain't but he did he did all that 
you know, all that shit just on this episode. So it made people more, you know what I'm saying, watching. Watch it. It. When I'm yeah. liking the slower episodes, but man, yeah, they I'm went all out at the end. Too. So enough lie. of my general thoughts. Let's get into this episode shot by shot. All right, so with episode three of the Chucky TV series, we open up where we left our main characters, Jake and Ch Let us take a sightseeing tour. Discover the world of the French Dispatch. Bit of sports, bit of crime, bit of pop. Chucky discussing in their bedroom what it is to be a serial killer. And I love how my man Chucky is just laying on yeah, the bed, yeah, he hands behind his head, talking so him. casually about how people should be killed, where we do All get right. a bit of an Easter egg to one of Chucky's other names, the Lakeshore Strangler, where Chucky mentions off to Jake, are you more of a stabbing kind of guy or strangulation? Chucky tends to do both, but he started out infamously as the Lakeshore Strangler. That was the name Charles Lee Ray was given when he was going around and doing his killing before he finally possessed the good guy doll. But speaking of Charles Lee Ray's backstory, this is where Jake straight up asked Chucky, how did you become this way? Where the episode begins to dive into flashback yeah. scenes about young Charles yeah, Lee Ray fact. and what his first kill went like. The first flashback showing a birthday party for young Charles, giving off the appearance that he has a normal childhood of parents who are willing to throw him. You know what I'm saying? He did, though. And then he just turned, just turned evil. <laughs> shit, I don't know how, but he just turned evil. You know what I'm saying? I think watching all that TV and shit, all that killer. He just turned evil, but yeah, he had no childhood life, you know what I'm saying? He had the birthday, friends, and all that. He just goddamn turned evil and shit, you know what I mean? No cap. Him a birthday party. However, it is during this flashback scene and at this birthday party where on the news it's being told that there's a mass murder. Yeah, mass murder going bodies crazy. Are starting to pop up. I think at this point a lot of us were thinking that it was young Charles sneaking out of his bedroom in his pajamas. That's why. That's why I thought too, though. But it was the other dude, I think. Killing. That won't be the case as we learn later on in this episode. But first, we got to cut to the title card sequence. Where this yeah. time, it's the word Chucky made out of gardening tool equipment. Really badass opening. We then cut to the middle school of our main characters here. Where we see Devin's mom, the detective, going up to Miss Fairchild. Wanting to get some information about Jake Yeah, Wheeler. she is on Jake asshole. She is on his asshole. But she don't know that it's Chucky the dog, folks. But she is on. She going to schools, man. I mean, she goes to schools, of course. But she going to, like, to teachers. Like, hey, we got to see what Jake, you know what I mean? They blaming Jake, like, for everything, folks. Like, before it wasn't, if not, she, like, you know how detective is. They got to steal, you know what I'm saying? They got to investigate. And in order to investigate, they got to keep going going. You know what I'm saying? They don't take no breaks, though, too. Like, they don't rest, though. They going to they gonna find this motherfucker. To they find them, you know what I mean? They don't keep on investigating and shit, no cap. Where she is denying any information, wanting to protect the privacy of her students. Yeah, and look, I'm still on the camp that Miss Fairchild is up to something, okay? I don't know what it is. She is, though? I don't think so. I just get strange vibes off her. And I'm telling you, she is going to end up becoming some sort of villain somehow. I just feel it. And when she does, she I'm going to open this bad boy during a recap. The theory a lot of us <laughs> fans are having is that Miss Fairchild could be Glenda all grown up. Oh, oh, okay. It, 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 okay. I don't know. It may. I don't know. It makes sense though. But it kind of do make sense. Look at her. Look at her. Yeah, it probably could. The theory be. a lot of us fans are having is that Miss Fairchild could be Glenda it could, it could all be. grown up, and yeah. she's just been planted in the school to keep an eye on Jake and help her father out with whatever big scheme he has planned. Which I'm still wanting. When you find out that he had a doll, though, she did look kind of like. I mean, that's why it, 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 it did make a, a little more auspicious because when she turned the light off, like who who teacher would turn the light off and with a doll and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? What teacher to turn out the light? She did it on purpose, probably. She did it on purpose, though. So she know, like, you know what I mean? She knows something about that doll, though. No cat. Because she did it, like, she did that way, way too, way too auspicious. No cat. Like, real shit. I know what that big plan is, Chucky. We then cut to our love birds, Jake Wheeler and Devin, having a little conversation. Yeah, look, and y'all nervous and shit. You know, you nervous. You know, you like that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Wait, Devin is sending shit. his condolences to Jake about what happened at the party and how Lexi took things way too far, adding a little bit of physical touch, which what I thought was a really sweet, kind moment until later on in the episode we find out Devin was recording that conversation yeah. without Jake's approval. Oh, my God. Yeah, I like God. Damn, folks. It's like one minute he turned good, one minute he turned like a... Like, evil not evil but you know what i'm talking about he just i don't know man something about him i just 
Something about him, folks. Like, he just, his face tells it all, though. No okay. cap. That's not okay, Devin. That is the first sign I get of Devin's character being a little suspicious and weird. Right, like, yeah, that's what it was. He just a little suspicious. Like, he just, just like, you can tell by his face. Like, he just, <laughs> I don't know, man. But it's like, he turned, he, he be, he, he, you know, he a cool dude. But it's like, he, I don't know, man. Something about his ass, man. Weird, and I'm like, why are you recording the things he's saying? That's like a weird podcast, too. man. But oh, yeah. I did not see that coming for Devin at all. We all knew his mom would warn him to stay away from Jake and him not wanting to. And that wasn't the only weird thing I found about Devin this episode. He also showed up to Lexi's party. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, I'm like, damn. You don't want to hear me? Like, look. <laughs> she told me he, he, he was talking about her like a dog. Like, yeah, Lexi's, man. She, she, I then you show up to the party. I'm like, look, I'm like. <laughs> I'm like, God damn. What, 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 who, what side you is? What side you on, man? You on Jake's side or Lexus? <laughs> like, God damn. <laughs> party with a bunch of the characters that it seemed like he obviously hated so devin felt very out of place to be here so we're gonna keep an eye on you dev but backing up just a yeah, bit like we you see jake you and miss fairchild outside of the school talking where miss fairchild has a little plan to get jake on the right path with his classmates by offering to have a parent teacher conference with his aunt uncle and lexi's mom and dad confronting her about the bullying she did yeah. specifically dressing up like jake's dad and pretending to be a lexi that's it now that shit was fucked up man i saw it i'm like that shit but uh, that's if anybody were in that predicament for will kill that kill that bitch. Don't okay. care. We'll kill that motherfucker. We'll kill that girl and shit. Don't okay. care. Anybody will kill somebody. I don't care. Like at that point for is is yeah, it's it's time to be killed. Don't no okay. care. If you know if anybody were in that prediction man for y'all probably the same way as Jake for mad as hell. About to kill somebody. Okay. Jake really, really doesn't shit. have time to react to this situation because he's got a little bit of plan on his hands as he's tracking Lexi during her jog, where it looks like Jake is actually going to go through with it and take Chucky's advice to slash her away. Yeah. I was honestly surprised that Jake took it this far and was running with a knife coming after Lexi, only for it to then be revealed that he was accidentally following his cousin, Junior, kind of snapping Jake back into reality, realizing I'm not this person. I would have regretted yeah, this decision he, he so badly. Back killing is not for me to me yeah. i feel like that's the last we'll see of jake going bad and from now on he yeah will fat, the path gonna, to kind of yeah. get rid of chucky and make a right for some of the wrongs he's been doing very similar to how junior wants to right some wrongs by telling his girlfriend straight up yeah he finally man up or oh, somewhat man up he finally look somewhat man up to what he you know what i'm saying capable capable of you know what i'm saying he finally told his girlfriend off for the first time because he done the girlfriend being you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, you know, the man in the household. But he find he finds step up and be the man in the household a little bit and tell her, hey, sorry, hey, tell my tell my cousin, hey, say sorry, cause that that was fucked up. You know what I mean? He finally tore her off though. It's about time. You feel me, man? It's it's about time. No cap wasn't cool what you did at the party you need to apologize to my cousin Back. again showing us the double-sided love that junior has for his cousin where he does care about him but he'll still endlessly bully him and treat him like crap in person it's very similar to how lexi also treats her younger sister caroline where she does yeah, seem she to is. hate her a little bit for yeah. the way her parents treat her and give her all this special treatment but at the same time she still has love and affection for her little sister so yeah, when she little caroline all. asks for the chucky doll she decides you know what i'm gonna suck Hi guys, how are we all doing? I want to introduce you to Officer Miller. Suck up my pride, go up to Jake, apologize, and ask for that damn Chucky doll. And it was during Lexi's apology that made me realize the show is gonna try to redeem the character and make us turn a 180 on. Yeah, it's trying to do that. I, I, I see that shit. It's trying, to, it's trying to make us, make her like she, you know, cool again or like she, okay, you know what I'm saying? She's a cool character. You feel me, man? Because first, first two episodes, we were like, Kill that motherfucker, man. Kill that bitch. You feel me, man? But now we gonna be like, like, hold on. She cool, though. Hold on. She, she ain't even like she, you know, we thought it was. You feel me? So that's what they're gonna probably make us do now on with this character. You know what I mean? Okay. No Lexi, and have us, the audience, start to like her. Now, yeah. I'm still not on board with liking Lexi yet. No, I'm not. Hey. 
Hey, not me though. Hey, you, same with me, Three Z Film. Same with me. The idea of them maybe flipping our expectations. I was fully expecting Chucky or Jake to stab this girl away, but her apologizing. Oh, so I was like, man, it was this close. Jake was this close, and um, Chucky was this close, but it just can't kill her ass. <laughs> And Can't showing kill affection for her sister is a sign to me that she's probably not going to be axed off in this series. But I think she still got a long way to go before I start cheering on for this girl. Back in his bedroom, though, we see that Jake has been hard at work at more weird, creepy statues. One that he made up to look like Lexi as he stabs it up. Showing that Jake still has a lot of built-up rage towards Lexi. And here we even get a little line that's an Easter egg to a previous Chucky movie. Where when Chucky is watching Jake stab up the doll, he mentions the words... It's called completion anxiety which has sort of become the new motivation for this Chucky. I still get it in the comment section, especially for a lot of the fans that have not kept up with the recent movies, where I'm over here asking myself, what is Chucky's plan in the TV series? What is this big fish he's after? And I'll get tons of comments from people who've only seen like the first three Child's Play movies saying, oh, Chris, it's obvious. He wants to transfer his soul into Jake's body. That's always been Chucky's plan. Don't you watch the movies, Chucky boy? I actually do, and that's why I know Chucky does not have that motivation anymore and could care less about transferring his soul in human bodies. One, in C to Chucky, one of the only things I like about that movie is where Chucky finally accepted the fact that he liked being in the doll body because it helped him be immortal and sneak around and just kill whoever he wanted and always come back to life. I'm one of the most notorious slashers in history, and I don't want to give that up. <laughs> I am Chucky, the killer doll, and I dig it! But it wasn't until Curse of Chucky, where it's revealed not only why Chucky kills some people, but specifically people from his past yeah, that got away, that. is because Charles Lee Ray has completion anxiety. Time to pull the fucking plug. So you never actually killed Andy Barclay, did you? No, it's called completion anxiety. It's very common in males. The way they sum it up is that if Chucky goes after you and sets his sight on killing you, but you get away, there's something built up in Chucky that feels he needs to finish the job or it's just gonna eat away at him. That's really the main motivation of Chucky other than the fact that he's a killer doll that just likes killing people. The dude just likes going back and killing people that got away, which is one of the reasons this TV show exists because Chucky is back in his hometown to get revenge on someone that wronged him in his past. And since Jake just isn't built up to be a killer, just yet Chucky takes it upon himself to be like hey why don't you give me to Lexi's little sister and I'll finish the job for you Caroline is obviously very happy with this since she sees Chucky as a role model and her best friend where they even watch the news together another callback to the first child's play movie where Andy tells his babysitter slash his aunt that Chucky wants uh, to watch yeah. the nine o'clock news <laughs> still true. Chucky is here on a mission following Lexi into the game yeah, he was this close man this close no cap he plans to end her life that is until to the rest everybody. of Jake's classmates walk yeah. in to have a little private party as her parents are away. And it's here we kind of see the cracks of the relationship between Junior and Lexi. Yeah, I saw that shit. I was like, man, she a player though, man. She is a player. He gets a little jealous. I was saying, you could tell if I was like... I mean, that was me. I dip, but he, you know, he, he different. So yeah. That Lexi asked you know, Oliver in to that bring alcohol wise. to the party, and even Devin thinking it's his place to calm Junior down. Where I have never seen them be friends throughout this entire series. I'm facts, not facts. That's the sad way. I'm like, bro. No cap. I'm telling you, it just feels a little out of place that Devin is here. But as that middle school rager is going on, we cut back to the school where the parent-teacher conference between Jake's aunt and uncle and Lexi's parents are happening. One key thing, though, Jake's aunt Bree shows up late, continuing to hint at us that she does have a little secret she's hiding from the family. Bad. She is cheating. Even though she was on the phone, she was on the phone talking about, oh yeah, can I see you tomorrow? Y'all saw episode two. It was, it was episode one or two. It was one or two. But she like, hey, she she came. She's like, oh yeah, come go to the bathroom. She went to Jake's room talking about, hey, uh, let me see you tomorrow. Oh, some some type shit. She is cheating on his. Um, she is cheating on him. <laughs> Plain about beer. She is cheating. And I don't know why she cheating if she got a mansion and all that. But hey, she she ought to be cheating for or some or something else going down for. It's one of those two though. It's one of those two. She cheating on some guy. Some some else going down though. But it's too much, yeah, it's too much being late, too much, oh, I go to the bathroom, like, 
too much shit going on, man. Family, because I don't believe one word that she was late from traffic. But man, I gotta tell you, it was so damn satisfying watching Lexi's stuck-up parents coming face-to-face -face with that recording of Lexi just doing some horrible things to where it got her mom to shut up. This is why... Flash, she like this. When you saw the bitch, she like this. She look, she look like this. She was all like this, like... <laughs> Finally stand, Miss right. Fairchild. From there, we cut to Jay. The parents, parents is dislike her. Jake like, at the cemetery where he's going to go visit too. his mom and dad's grave, as he knows tonight will most likely be the night that Chucky ends up killing Lexi and maybe more people, feeling a bit of guilt, like he almost needs to unload all of that. I gotta also mention, I love the little background music that was happening in this cemetery scene. Oh, yeah. This also was a really great character development moment for Jake where it made me like the character a lot more because he does have remorse and sympathy for something he was about to do. Just like in the same way they show remorse and sympathy for Lexi as she sings her little sister a little bedtime song. Oh, yeah. Further proof I need to know that this- Where are we practicing today, Daddy? Yeah, where are we practicing today? Are we going someplace- This show is not gonna kill off Lexi and they're gonna make us like her. Damn it. But once that's done, we then cut <laughs> yeah, to this but... middle school rager that, man, I never had parties like this when I was in middle school. Look at this. It's one of those. Yeah, I never had no headphone, headphone parties, man. We just had parties, man. So, I don't know what the fuck Parties where everyone on. wears headphones, but the room is actually completely silent. I got to tell you, my middle school parties were not this cool. We were dancing to Soldier Boy. You. I mean, but it is in this party where we continue to see more cracks Those in the relationship did. between Junior and Lexi. Am, but she's lit. getting really close and personal with all of her. And I'm still just as surprised as you guys that Junior is still keeping up with this relationship with Lexi. Especially at the talent show when Chucky revealed that Lexi has some risque pictures of Oliver on her phone. Clearly, me That's what I was saying. He got, she got all that on her phone, but she, he still want to be in a relationship with her. Must be in love and shit. Gotta be in love. No cap. Meaning she's cheating or seeing this guy behind her back. But well, my boy sorry. Oliver ain't no match for Junior and his dancing moves. As that's happening though, we do finally see that Chucky is tired of waiting and is wanting he say, to get he out said, of this I'm gonna kill your sister. Bed. I'm gonna go kill, kill your sister. sister. You wanna come? Snug as a fucking bug. As Chucky heads his way to go find Lexi, though, we do cut to another flashback scene showing Charles Lee Ray. Us, the audience, finding out that it actually wasn't young Charles Lee Ray who's been doing a lot of yeah, the best work and that it was a separate killer let loose on the town that is now in the house of Chucky, where he witnesses his own father being killed. I was honestly thinking, like a lot of you guys, that it was actually going to be Chucky's parents who were the killers on the town, and they were the ones that mentored his kids, so I was kind of surprised when we found out that Chucky and Encountered a different serial killer that went after his parents. But before we continue on with that flashback, we cut back to the party where Chucky is now on the hunt for Lexi, accidentally stabbing Oliver in Fair. the leg. And look, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. You know I'm loving the show. I think the show is awesome and fantastic. But man, I am conflicted on this kill. One, it is super badass that Chucky went ahead and killed some kids. Okay, I said it. It shows that Chucky has no line when it. Man, it's like he <laughs> he was like. He's like, oh shit, I'm sorry. No, well, fuck it. You were here, let me kill you. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah, you he went crazy. To who gets stabbed and whatnot. Right. And I thought it was awesome, even though he made a mistake. He was like, ah, fuck it. No, fuck he was like, he was like, ah, oh, fuck it. <laughs> and then continuing to stab Oliver he, as. He was stabbing while they were doing like this, dancing, on, you know, like this on the music. He like. <laughs> Da, da. <laughs> Many times as he can while his friends can't even hear them. Like they can't hear this. Like like this. Da, da. Da, da. Because they all have headphones on, making a really creative and unique situation that I love this show did. But I gotta admit, the way Chucky stabbed Oliver and Damn. was on top of him did look a little goofy. That's where the puppeteering on Chucky was very apparent to me, and it didn't look as smooth as Chucky is. Yeah, you could tell for plus when he when he killed him for it wasn't it look smooth like he. Cause I'm like, damn, I used to have him, but he ain't really, you know what I mean? It kind of look like you, you could tell, like you could see it though, like he ain't look too smooth. But I just like, fuck it, let's, let's go with it. <laughs> but he kind of didn't like, you could tell, like if y'all see the move, the show, episode season three, episode three, I mean, y'all, you know, y'all tell. Before in the past, it didn't completely ruin. <laughs> moment for me but i did just have to point that out because i can't 
Yeah, no, I saw I, I've been saw that shit, but I, I ain't wanna be like, oh, you know what I mean? But I saw that shit. It, it ain't look like he, he killed him, but it ain't look like he was, you feel me? Because that's, you know, the doll and shit. Can't be yeah. the only one who thought that during watching this. Like no, I saw that shit. It ain't like, like when he stabbed him, I'm like, he ain't really stabbed him. Like, you feel me? Like, I'm like, what's going on here? But I just watched it, you know, as I watched it. You know, I'm still gonna watch it anyway. But it's some shit they gotta fix and shit. You know what I'm saying? No cap. Like, um, yeah. like I said, I'm gonna forgive it because I did not think Chucky was gonna be killing any middle school kids, and he did it, y'all. But yeah, now that he Chucky did finished it. off okay. Oliver, he's on to his main target, who was Lexi all along. Who, even though she's having a party, decides to be by herself in her bedroom to smoke a joint until she notices a little pair of red shoes by her curtains, assuming it's the Chucky doll, only for him to pop up behind her, yep. leading to what I think. <laughs> is a pretty fun little fight between Lexi and Chucky. I think it's always so damn adorable when Chucky is behind his victim and is just running his feet so right, hard. Right, it reminds right. me a lot of some of the scenes in Child's Play 2 where Chucky did that to Kyle. That also might be goofy and silly, but it's also iconic and just so in line with Chucky. I dig it. But really what elevated this scene further is just the fire sequence that then goes on during this fight, engulfing in flames this entire room with some of the most amazing looks at Chucky we have yeah, seen. That was that was, that was a nice shot right there they did with Chucky, like the fire going up, Chucky air yeah, going crazy. In the entire that nice face. Like, all nice of shot. this was chef's kiss. Facts. Hey, I like that part too. I like that scene. I love seeing Chucky in that angry, perfect little face with flames behind him, holding up a knife, laughing maniacally. Even the slow motion pants oh, the yeah, kids outside dead. who are just vibing out to he's what vibing. I hope is the soundtrack for Shrek 2, bringing a whole new meaning to the party being lit. Like, how could you not be clapping and cheering at just how amazing this show is so far? And although it looks very obvious like Chucky is going to finish the job and get rid of Lexi here, the show cuts away from that, continuing on with the flashback of young Charles who is now with his mother running away from this intruder in their house. Young Charles even having a little knife in his hands thinking that he's gonna fight off this killer only for us to then realize Chucky killed his own mom. I saw that sound like damn this motherfucker evil is the motherfucker. This boy, this, this little boy is crazy. He kills all mine talking about hey yeah I finished a job for you. I'm like damn. That's tough. That's tough. To man. impress the serial killer stranger in his house. Chucky was born crazy, and that's his origin. Facts. He was born crazy, man. He he was he was uh, when he when he was born for he just he was evil when he was born, okay. Don Mancini understood the assignment, man. That was one of the things I was most worried about with the Child's Play series is how they were gonna explain the backstory and how Chucky became his kid. We were all afraid it was gonna be the typical, oh, he was bully, he came from a bad home. My thinking during the sequence that maybe the kidnapper was gonna take little Chucky away and then mentor him, and then that's why we're seeing Chucky mentor Jake in the future. But no, the show played it brilliantly and just has it that Charles Lee Ray was born evil and he was always Thanks. destined he was to kill this yep. was just the specific moment and the push off the cliff he needed to be like yo i'm gonna do it right now to my own mother i really don't think we should pay too much attention to who the serial killer was or yeah because i was wondering like who was this and i, I thought you know wasn't easy i thought he, i thought you gonna know dc fan i thought you gonna know this shit but nobody don't know who, who said i don't know who he is so i know i know child rado but i don't know who the motherfucker is but maybe i mean it probably ain't nothing to to know his name probably you know what i mean type shit i don't know for this intruder unless this is the person that chucky is after all these years later because he's like yo you did kind of kill my dad and that's my job oh yeah so maybe he's after this guy but i honestly think he's just a nobody character that we'll never see again but as far as what we'll see in the next episode it's obvious that lexi is still alive as we see the oh, yeah, on the, on the hospital for episode four having well, lexi in the baby. hospital yeah. looking after her sister Coraline, who probably is in there for some of the smoke and fire one she'll obviously tell all her classmates about chucky and since Jake already knows this is true and he's had a change of heart, he's probably going to want to team up with Lexi to finish Chucky off. And Fair. That's what I was saying. So now she's going to be like, now she know what Jake's talking about now. In episode 4, that's what I was saying. Yo, now she's going to know what Jake's talking about. The doll is crazy.
crazy. Detector. <laughs> and Devin, Ooh. even though he hasn't seen it with his own two eyes, will probably also believe them just because he's into this true crime stuff and in his podcast he's already talked about the legend of Charles Lee Ray. Also, I think they're not going to know that Oliver was stabbed and killed. Yeah, I they ain't going to know. just going to chalk it up to uh, he was one of the accidental victims of the fire in Lexi's house and that his body burned up to the point they couldn't see that he was stabbed to death by Chuck, making it again another accidental kill that kind of goes unnoticed. But those are just my thoughts on the third episode of the Chucky TV series. I'm really liking the direction of the show. I think it just continues to get better and better. But man, I'll be honest, episode four, bring in those characters. I need to see Tiffany. I need to see Andy, yeah. Kyle, Nika. <laughs> just do it. But I want to hear from you guys. What did you think of this episode? Leave all your thoughts and theories down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at 3C Films or on TikTok at 3C Films. But as always, I'm Chucky Boy. Take care. <laughs> but, um... Nah, episode four gonna be lit for. I saw we saw a little sneak peek. If y'all watched it, uh, episode three, man, I saw episode four sneak peek. Y'all will know, man. It's gonna be crazy on next week. Can't wait for next week, man. Next Tuesday, it's gonna be lit though, man. It's gonna be lit, man. Can't wait for it, man. But hey, leave a like so my channel, my channel hit that bell if you new. This one's incredible. Let me know in the comment down below. And um, yeah, I'm out. And I'm yeah, peace.